Hey everyone, Galen here, and I'm back today with a new project I am working on. Um, importing the HP2 maps into HP1, um, starting with the Privet Drive map. Uh, as you can see, I was able to successfully import uh, the Privet Drive map into HP1, although I don't know how to get these trees fixed. Uh, I tried using the Use Cache Fix in. Um, in the uh, the system folder, but uh, for whatever reason, that is not working. I don't know why. Uh, actually, I do want to show you guys something. If you go back over here, if you look up at the sky. It says Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. That's what pops up. When you start the second game, so I thought that was kind of cool. Now there's not really a whole lot of lighting over here, but if we go over here. You can actually see you can't really see him, but Ron you'll you'll see Hagrid, but you'll also see Ron as well. He's kind of like running into the wall there. Ah, uh, as you can see that's Harry's room. So I thought this was kind of cool. Uh, so let's go to ah. So I also did uh, Diagon Alley as well. Um, I was able to import this. Uh, this is exactly how it looks. I think it really turned out pretty well. Except there's a couple of props missing. Um, importing props from HP2 into HP1 is quite tricky. I was able to do some stuff for the E3 project, but... Um, like there's supposed to be some stuff hanging, you know, on the, which I probably could have added because I did import that for the project. I just didn't add it to this map. There's also supposed to be some book stands right here. Uh, I wish I knew how to use static mesh. That'd be a lot easier. Kind of added some spots you can teleport to, so you can go up in here. And this is actually the other... Part of uh, the that diagonally map that's actually cut off from the other half. Um. Well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I plan on importing all of the HP2 maps into HP1. So this is just the beginning. Uh, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. There's more to come.